Now on GMA, and you could feel, yes, the energy <laughs> in Hollywood last night. The musical performances at the Oscars were just as show-stopping as the films nominated. Lara has a look at all the biggest moments from Ryan Gosling to Billie Eilish. There were so many great performances last night. Lara, thank you. Robin, it was a very special night. Billie Eilish's song, What Was I Made For, was the darling of this awards season. She performed it at the Grammys. She won Song of the Year for it. And last night, she and her brother Phineas delivered another breathtaking performance of the song. But sadly, that's not the one that everyone's talking about. Even Billy and Phineas admit Ryan Gosling stole the show. Take a look. It doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. It was the performance we'd all been waiting for. And Ryan Gosling delivered the Kennergy. Shimmering in that very hot pink Kentastic suit. I'm just when I see love, she sees a friend. Surrounded by an army of Kens and even Guns N' Roses Slash. Bringing everyone in the theater to their feet. I'm just Barbie director Greta Gerwig and co-stars Margot Robbie and America Ferreira belting out the lyrics. Emma Stone so into it, she ripped her dress. I really partied hard to I'm just Ken. I'm so excited for Ryan and he just absolutely crushed it. And it was just, it was, it was a blast. So it was worth the dress rip. My dress is broken. <laughs> A performance that was more than enough, it was a 10. And from hot pink to a flaming hot performance by Becky G, burning up the Oscar stage with Diane Warren's Oscar nominated song, The Fire Inside, from the Cheetos inspired film. But our heartstrings pulled the hardest of the night by Billie Eilish and brother Phineas singing the captivating vocals in Barbie's What Was I Made For? What was I made for? Cause I, cause I... Kate McKinnon, also known as Weird Barbie, showing the love. And the Oscar goes to... <gasps> Billie Eilish and Phineas... <laughs> The brother-sister duo going on to win for best song, becoming the youngest two-time Oscar winners in history. I feel so incredibly lucky and honored. Um, thank you to Greta. Where did you go? I love you. Thank you for this. I'm so grateful for this song. I just saw you guys at the Grammys like a day yeah, ago. I know. People Time to get enough. back to the drawing board on the next yeah. one. We can, we'll shut up about it now. Yeah. No, please don't. No, no, we will. Tonight also bringing a powerful performance by Scott George and the Osage tribal singers and dancers from Killers of the Flower Moon. Never went away. And five-time Grammy winner John Batiste gracing the stage with his nominated song, It Never Went Away. I'm just kidding. But of course, even though Gosling and the song didn't win any Oscars, the night belonged to the Kens. That so performance fun. brought me to life. We were in the dressing room next to him, and we were hearing him vocal do his warm vocal warm-ups. No! You know, that man is a... a he's a, working, he's worked so he's hard. He's a student. It really was so epic. And a lot of people this morning are comparing that performance by Ryan to Marilyn Monroe's performance in the 1953 film, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. We want you to notice a few things. If we have the video from Marilyn Monroe's performance, the stairs, kind of similar. The stripes on the Ken's cravats, some of Ryan's arm movements even, and the choreography quite similar, a lot of people are saying online. We read something else that we thought was really funny about Ryan. It said, uh, and I quote, when you lose the Oscar, 
but you win the show. Oh. Pretty much says it all, Robin. Oh. He's got a healthy ego. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I know we're going to have now you back. He, he did win the show. Yes, He's no, absolutely. It was, a, it was a show-stopping moment. You got that right, Lara. <laughs>